Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight. Tonight I'm answering a viewer request. The viewer, using the ROX ICE WM desktop by default in Antix, is having a little trouble dealing with mounting removable media. CDs, USB sticks, and the like. So, we're going to help them out. Now I'm going to see, I've got their default desktop up. I've got some customations here. This is my main production laptop. I'm going to insert a USB key and you're going to see that absolutely nothing happens. Hard to show nothing happening, but there you go, nothing happened. If we open up the Rocks File Manager and go to slash media where things are normally mounted, this stick will show up as SDB1 and it is not in there. It is not there at all. So you have a couple of options and the first option is you can use uh, actually the first option is you can use Space FM, which unless you've customized your menu if you're using the Rocks desktop is in Tools, Filers, Space FM. It shows up in a couple other places. But when Space FM opens, it will automatically mount the stick. Then my stick's empty. So it's is there. In fact, let's put a file in it so that I know there's something in it. Okay. So that's the first way you could do it. And let's see. I believe if I exit space FM, by default, it will be unmounted and gone. And no, it's still there. I must have changed the setting earlier. But that's all right. So anyway, you can see once it's mounted, it shows up in both your file managers. So I'm going to unmount now. Okay. So that's the first way of getting to show up in your file manager. And you can see it's going to be gone. I'm going to leave the media folder open. You can see that it's gone from media as well. Okay, so the second method, I've reinserted the stick. You see it still doesn't come up. It was the Space FM browser functions that allowed the mounting. We can also go to Disks on the Control Center to the Disks tab and Mount Connected Devices. And you use this cool little tool called Mount Box. Now, this is handy any time you get a truly troublesome item that you need to mount. It'll give you a list of everything you need to mount. Most of these are my internal drives. You'll see here SDB1 is 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 my device. So you click S, you just type it in SDB1, and then I like to use the same mount point as the name of the device just makes things easier that way. You type that in, click mount, and there you go, Bob's your uncle. It shows up, and in this case it also opens up a rocks window when you're done. opens up your default file manager window. If you want to unmount that device, well you just click on mount with it in there, and we're good to go. Let's bring slash media back up. You see it's all cleaned up nice and neat. Well, there's nothing wrong with, with mounting your drives that way. But let's say you want your device auto-mounted while you're using rocks. Well, this next segment will help you out with that. There's a really neat trick pertaining to using um, a little daemon daemon uh, program that's part of Space FM. Now, if you don't want to use Space FM, that's fine. Now, I'm not a file manager purist. I like Space FM. I use Rocks as well. Use, I usually use whatever file manager is the default for the giving, uh, given Linux that I'm using, just because they usually the integration is better. But Antics does a very good job with Rocks and with Space, and I like to use the best tool for the job. And to be honest with you, Space F it's easier to get things mounted with Space FM in my opinion, than with some other utilities. So I'm going to open up Space FM and I'm going to show you how to configure a couple things in case you want to use rocks instead of space to view your files. It's very easy. So first we're going to go up here to Devices and Settings and we're going to click on Auto Mount and we're going to make sure Mount Removable is clicked. Now by default, Open Tab is usually clicked as well, checked as well. And what it's going to do is when you insert the medium if Space FM is running, Space FM will open a new window. 
and it will show things. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna make that unchecked because I'm gonna show you how to use rocks uh, this way. So then we're also gonna come down here to next. We're gonna come down to auto run, and we're gonna click the on mount command. And you see I typed rocks and a percent sign and an M, which is the device mount point. So what it's gonna do? It's gonna open when when space FM detects the the uh, uh, mounting of a new USB stick, it's at not going to open the Space FM window since we have the open tab not checked. It's going to run this program, it's going to run rocks, and it's going to open the mount point. So that's going to give us the rocks window opening in our, uh, it's going to give us the rocks file manager opening up the media. Now there's one other trick that you, ha you need to know, and that is, is that obviously I'm running the rocks ISWM desktop, Space FM isn't running, but it's got a daemon mode, and it's really, really handy. So we'll go up here to run, and we're going to type Space FM slash D, whoops, slash D. And what that's going to do, that's telling the program, telling Space FM to run in daemon mode. There's no file manager window that's going to open. There's no desktop that's going to be taken over. Nothing. It's just going to run the background, and it's going to sit there and look for you to insert media. So we'll click OK. And now when I insert my media, we should get, I'm inserting the USB key right now. It's a SanDisk Cruiser. And I should get a Rocks Filer window. And there it is. Now this is a blank key, so that's accurate. That's a blank key. And you can see that it shows up in the rock in slash media under Rocks, just like it's supposed to. You get the fancy titles that Space FM gives you. I have mine configured to use you devil. Check out my Space FM videos. You'll see about customizing what program you use for mounting. I and I whoops, click pad, always dangerous. You can uh, click the eject function from rocks. You do not need to do that from Space FM. And your key's good to go. I took the key out, I'm inserting the key back in. And there it is. It's back. Opens a window, shows up in slash media just like you want. Now the great thing about running Space FM in daemon mode is you use whatever file manager you want to. And when the system shuts down, Space FM detects that as an exit event and it'll clean up any folders that are left over in your slash media. That's how I like to mount my utilities with Space FM. I normally use a Space FM desktop. If you're running the Space FM desktop, the daemon mode's already running. You don't have to worry about it. Well, if you want that to start up, at, start up by default every time. Click over here to your to your window manager of choice settings. This is ISWM, the default. Come over to the startup tab, and you're going to find this item right here: Run Space FM D to auto mount plug-in devices. Do not enable if you use Space FM Desktop. So that's the one I just gave you. You click that, uncheck that, save it. The Space FM D is now going to run by default at every boot up. That's the simplest way to get USB sticks and also disks the same, the same, the same setup in space in uh, in Antics. Tips, tricks, how to's, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.